I don't know what, I don't know what. I woke up this morning and right off the rip was just in my head, just bad mental day, right off the rip. I've been up for uh, two hours and eh, kind of shook it a little bit, but still, I don't know why there's just like this weight. Um, it's one of those things where I, I wake up usually before my alarm goes off for some reason, most of the time. It's like I try to go to bed early to catch to get like catch up on sleep, and my body's like it like knows I went to bed early, so I wake up early. Uh, anyway, um, it's just one of those mornings when I wake up, my brain starts going, and I start remembering all the things that I need to do, or all the things that I didn't do yesterday, like almost like a mental like to do list. And so then I'm, I just start worrying about all the things. <laughs> it's so stupid, but just a horrible way to start your day, man horrible way like right off the rip I'm already like oh, the day hasn't even started and I, I just want to get get through it anyway um, edited uh, edited and got today's vlog up and then started working on tomorrow's vlog because I knew I had a lot of footage and I decided to split it into two vlogs so yeah tomorrow two vlogs um, I, I broke off the Bryce getting fitted for his tux for prom and then the DoorDash because uh, it's basically two different audiences, really. Uh, there's the Bryce audience that does not care about me at all, and they just only want to, they only want to see what Bryce is up to and what Bryce is doing. So made the prom video for them, and then my community and the DoorDash community, because they are there. Are, there is a community for DoorDash. Um, make that the separate video since that's a, a bigger video. Um, I just feel like they're going to perform better as separate videos. The prom video is only like three minutes, three 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 and a half minutes, and uh, you know that'll get a huge spike from. The Bryce audience, and then the DoorDash video I haven't edited yet, but I give it, I've got 25 minutes of footage, so you know that's gonna be a, a, its own video itself, and that'll perform for those who care about the DoorDash content and just looking for the daily vlog. So that's the decision I made, and I'm gonna start uh, editing the DoorDash video. Yeah, no school today because Bryce is heading to Tucson for the host of state championship. Is it a championship or no? It's competition. It's just state competitions. Host of state competitions. Okay. Tell them what you're doing. What, what, are, you, um, what are you up to? So I'm doing an Atomage. Okay, which uh, is? It's it's technically not like a competition within HOSA. It's a company that made a product that's kind of just promoting their thing by having a competition. It's kind of become a big thing. Okay. Um, so an Atomage table is like just a big touch screen table and it has a 3D model of a body. Um, it's like a real human cadaver, like a body that was donated to science um, that they 3D scanned and stuff. And you can just cut into it a bunch of different ways. I watched a video on it, it's like super interesting, like how in depth it goes and just the technology of it. Like, so the competition is it's gonna ask us, like, I have a team, it was gonna be a team of five, and then it just got cut to four this year. So um, it's gonna ask us a question about the body, just a, a, an anatomy on the body, and you have to click on it. And we're running at a bunch of other schools. Whoever gets the most points, but also the fastest time. So if you tie with someone, it's whoever did it faster. So you want to kind of focus on speed and accuracy. And accuracy yeah. Sure, I mean, like anything else. Mm -hmm. But uh, but if you win, your school wins. Yeah, so if we get first place, we'll get like a medal, obviously. Um, and we'll get to go to nationals, which is in Houston this year. Last year was in Dallas and four was like Nashville. But And your school... Has won. Oh yeah, we so our school's won state at least for anatomology the past four years, five, yeah, four four years, and it's been a thing since those four years. So like I think twenty nineteen was our first one. That was the first year this thing started, and then we won. We didn't win twenty twenty. Or no, we won twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. There wasn't probably a competition in twenty twenty. Yeah, there wasn't twenty. Okay, twenty nineteen, twenty one, because no competition in twenty. Twenty two, twenty three. Gotcha. So we have like four in a row of all the things that like since there's been this competition. So we have a lot of pressure to win this year, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And so you're leaving today and you're going to go out until Friday? Yeah, so Friday afternoon. two-day competition? Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. Good luck. Heading over to Tanger Outlets to uh, look for some running shoes, some athletic shoes. I need something. I want to start doing some running, even if it's on the treadmill. So go find some cheap Nikes or something. Ended up going with these, uh, what are these called? Uh, Nike Run Swift 2. 
Nothing special. Just a cheap pair of running shoes. They fit me my big my big feet. I wear size 13, so there you go. Back at the animal hospital to drop off some poop. They wanted a fecal sample. Though the doctor said that it was included, but apparently it's not. And when I asked him about that, he goes, yeah, yeah, it's not included. That, that veterinarian just kind of fill in, so he must not have realized it. And I'm like, but he said it was. And he's like, but it's not. And he's like, you don't, I mean, you don't have to do it. I'm like, do it. Cause I want to make sure that she's fine. Like, I want to make sure like this is, this is testing for parasites, right? Like first blood work came in totally fine. No problems. Okay. We're still waiting on the other half. So we're still waiting on some more results. Should get those later today or tomorrow. Yeah. I want everything tested because I want to know if there's something wrong with it. That's the whole point of me spending all this money and all this time is to find out if there's something wrong with the dog, because if all your results come back and there's nothing wrong with her, then we know that she just has like anxiety and she gets the runs when she gets anxious, which my brother does that. Like the nerves get to him, his stomach gets to him and he just, he gets the shits. So maybe my dog has the same problem. I don't know. We need to start giving her like, I don't know, weed gummies or something. Anyway, another $66 on the dog. Something that I completely overlooked a couple days ago. March 31st is the anniversary of the daily vlog. March 31st, 2012 was the, the first daily vlog that I shot and uploaded on April 1st. Now I did that the wrong way. I should have recorded April 1st and, and then posted on April 2nd and that should have been the first daily vlog. But in my mind it was posting on April 1st, thinking like that's the first of the month, whatever. But March 31st marks the anniversary. It would have been eight years of daily vlogs. Now, when I try to think back when I ended the daily vlogs, it was somewhere or over 2,000 days. I, I don't remember the exact day, but I know I mentioned it in a vlog. So Alfonso, you're probably the best person to go find it, but if anyone else finds the last daily vlog, I'm sure I can easily look it up. But either way, it was like 2,000 something days. I don't know how many, how many years it was total of daily uploads, daily vlogs. Um, but it would have been eight years on the, you know this past, the past year of daily vlogs. I'm back to daily vlogs, at least for now. Um, and I don't know, I just, today's a bad day. You know, I have good days and bad days and I've had some really good days recently, a couple, couple of good weeks. Um, and I should have celebrated, you know, right? I should have celebrated April Fool's Day passed by. We didn't do anything that because, you know, Easter kind of over, over, you know, glossed it all because actually Easter was the 31st. So that right there is the reason why I didn't even think about it. But, you know, today's the, the third and I'm just now like thinking about like, oh man, the anniversary was, and in the past I've made videos on that day to say, you know, this is the anniversary of the daily vlogs or this is the anniversary of the channel. This is the anniversary of my first vlog. Like, you know, there's these, 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 these dates that I have on the calendar. Um, I don't know. I just felt like mentioning that for those who maybe didn't know that. Um, but yeah, 2024 daily vlogging again, figuring stuff out, navigating through life. I had every intention of coming home today and streaming, playing some video games, but that didn't happen as usual. As usual, like I like, like I, I've mentioned that numerous times. I just I can't have any plans. I can't because inevitably there is just things that pop up that are more important than what I want to do. You know, uh, I even threw out a, a post on X just saying how I need to get back to playing video games. I miss the vibes and and the vibes of like playing video games, streaming video games, and, and hanging out with friends. Like there's, there's, there's the three, it's like a triangle, right? It's, it's the personal enjoyment of just me playing video games, which has always been my hobby. I miss that. I miss streaming video games, and more importantly, just hanging out with my community around video games, right? Because there's definitely people that came for me, but because I was playing a game they were into, right? I was playing Tarkov, I was playing Destiny, I was playing, you know, whatever video game I was playing at the time that they were into as well. And that's what the common bond that brought us together. And then there's just 
hanging out with my buds, hanging out with my friends because we're playing video games. We're playing video games together, right? We're playing co-op games, multiplayer games. I miss all of that. And I feel like that's the one missing piece I have in my life right now. I'm back to vlogging and, and that's definitely centered me and brought me back to being Clintus, bring me back to who I really am. But the piece that's missing is the video game piece. The piece that's missing is the, is, is I guess, I don't know, the Twitch side of me. But even forgetting Twitch, just getting back to playing video games. And I don't know why I have this like block of like, I can't play video games because there's other things to do. I can't play video games because I don't have enough time. I can't play video games because, insert excuse reason, you know. And it's funny, my buddy Chuck Reynolds replied to my, my post on X saying something like, You're, you sound like me for the past dot, 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 many years. And I, I remember specifically, like, for years when Chuck said he just didn't have time to play, and I was always like, how do you not have time to play? You, you watch TV, right? You, you watch movies, you watch documentaries. Like, there's time. You just choose to spend your time in other places. And so here I am thinking, like, oh, you know, he's, he's calling me out that I'm like him or I sound like him. And when I think about it, my excuse or my, my block is, is that I have to be embedded by a certain time because I have to be awake by a certain time. And just this last week, I have gotten crap sleep. One was because of the weather and the storm. The other one was just my own brain not turning off. And then when I do wake up sometime in the middle of the night, shutting it back off and going back to sleep. So it's critical that I try to get into bed by a certain time, just in the off chance that I wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep. I need to get as much sleep as I can get. But playing video games and or streaming video games and or playing with my friends, all three of those things stimulate me give me adrenaline, give me, you know, endorphins and uh, dopamine, whatever. And, and those are all counterintuitive to going to sleep, going to bed. At least if I'm watching a YouTube video, I will fall asleep. Like, I'm not falling asleep at, at my desk playing video games. I'm not falling asleep while I'm streaming. But I'll fall asleep watching YouTube videos. I'll fall asleep watching TV. So that's where when I look at the clock and I go, ah, it's, uh, it's 7.30, 8 o'clock, it's 8.30. That's too late for me to start streaming. That's too late for me to even play video games, in my opinion. And I think that's the, that's the main deterrent for me is like, I just don't have, I don't have enough time with the time that I have available. I can squeeze in some YouTube videos. I can even squeeze in a, a, a one, you know, an episode of TV. But video games, as simple it would be just to log in and play, it's like, how do you, how do you limit yourself? If you're playing multiplayer, you play what, one round, two rounds? If you're playing a single player campaign, set a timer. I don't know. It, these are the things that like, I, I try to figure out so that I can, so I can do it. Because I, I want to do it. I miss it. The good news is Tiffany's going out of town next week. So at least I remove her from the equation that I don't feel like you know, spending time with her. I, don't, I, don't, I won't be able to spend time. I can't spend time with her. She'll be, she'll be gone. So... Maybe next week I'll, get, I'll be able to play some video games. We'll see. <clears throat> Tiffany just got home. Quick change of clothes and straight to the kitchen to start making dinner. And you are doing broccoli and chicken nuggets. Yeah. A little fun dinner for her. And I have chicken pad thai, which I don't know, I made it about a month ago. I don't know. I, I didn't realize I hadn't, there were, I, I knew there were two, but for some reason I thought Bryce ate it or. I already ate both of them. I don't know. But I totally did not realize there was another one in there. So we're having some chicken pad thai, which is delicious. I, already, like I said, I already had one. It was phenomenal. So that one's eating up. Huh? From Costco. From Costco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically pre-made. You just, the noodles are in one packet. The sauce and the chicken and all is another packet. You just combine them, heat them up. Stove or microwave. I'm just going with microwave this time. Keep it simple. And then if I'm still hungry, I have some shrimp fried rice in the freezer as well. 